Okay folks, we're back at Cabot Circus in Bristol again and today I'm watching the debut cinematic feature of Wonder Woman starring Gal Gadot reprising her role as Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman, and Chris Pine as Steve Trevor. Now from what I've been told from people who have seen this already, uh, this is the greatest superhero movie ever. That's a pretty big claim considering I thought the first Iron Man movie was amazing. But that's just me, take it for what you will. Two hours and 20 minutes, I'm going to see if uh, DC can actually now start picking up the ball where they kind of dropped it with, uh, with Batman v Superman. But in two hours, you'll know. Later. Okay folks, just finished up watching Wonder Woman and OMG. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, because this is the spoiler-free review, I'm just going to have opinions and save spoilers for the spoiler review, hence why I have these two different reviews. Writing, rock solid. Uh, casting, with the lone exception of Danny Houston, who's as wooden as a post in pretty much anything he's in these days, uh, I couldn't fault the cast choices. Uh, Gal Gadot crushed it. Chris Pine, I think he was the right Steve Trevor, he had the right mannerisms, he had the right heart, most importantly, and he really comes across as a nice guy in this movie. Uh, fight choreography, the best I've ever seen. Um, with regards to um, special and visual effects, I haven't seen anything this monumental since the first Iron Man movie. In fact, I'm going to go and say this is actually the best superhero movie since Iron Man 1. I appreciate that's opinion based, but you know what? Everyone else is allowed their opinions, so am I. Score. This is up there with with I know I know I keep saying Sir John Williams even though he's a you know he's an American um, composer, I still think of him as Sir John Williams. This is easily on par with all of the iconic work he has done with regards to Superman, Star Wars, and the Jurassic Park series. So, score, monumentally brilliant. And the momentum never, ever stops with this movie. The only minor critique I will say is they could have made a little bit more of the romance in this story. Um, you can tell that there is something between Steve Trevor and and Diana, but they didn't make more of it. That's the only um, critique I'm going to make with regards to writing, but aside from that, you know, I'm a Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor shipper, if that's the correct term. But I'm just going to simply say a must times five. Co92, you told me I would not be disappointed. Buddy, you are so right. Thank you for that recommendation. And if uh, my buddy Nick Nugent and the X24 Rider are watching this review, guys, go watch this movie. Seriously. You're going to get your money's worth and then some, and I'm pre-ordering this off of either Amazon or Zavi as soon as I get home, because The Knight recommends it. Until next time, this is MJ Knight signing off from Cabot Circus, Bristol, for Real Features. Good night from The Knight.